Hello everyone and welcome to the Life Stories channel. Today we are talking about Drake. Aubrey Drake Graham was born on October 24th, 1986 in Toronto, Ontario. His father, Dennis Graham, is African American and a practicing Catholic from Memphis, Tennessee. He worked as a drummer, performing alongside country musician Jerry Lee Lewis. His mother, Sandra, otherwise known as Sandy Graham, is a Canadian of Ashkenazi Jewish heritage who worked as an English teacher and florist. Dennis Graham performed at Club Blue Notes in Toronto, which is where he met Sandra Sher, who was in attendance. Drake is a dual citizen of the United States and Canada, and in his youth he attended a Jewish day school and became a bar mitzvah. Drake's parents divorced when he was five years old. After the divorce, he and his mother remained in Toronto. His father returned to Memphis, where he was incarcerated for a number of years on drug-related charges. Graham's limited finances and legal issues caused him to remain in the United States until Drake's early adulthood. Prior to his arrest, however, Graham would travel to Toronto and bring Drake to Memphis every summer. His father later collaborated with Canadian music group Arkells on a music video for a song titled Drake's Dad. Graham claimed in an interview that Drake's assertions of him being an absent father were embellishments used to sell records, which Drake vehemently denies. Drake was raised in two Toronto neighbourhoods. He lived on a western road in the city's working class West End until grade 6, playing minor hockey with the Western Red Wings, and he then moved to one of the city's affluent neighbourhoods, Forest Hill, in 2000. When asked about the move, Drake replied, We had a half of a house we could live in. The other people had the top half, we had the bottom half. I lived in a basement, my mum lived on the first floor. It was not big, it was not luxurious, and it was what we could afford. At the age of 15, eager to begin his career as an actor, a high school friend introduced Drake to his father, an acting agent. The agent found Drake a role in the Canadian teen drama series Degrassi, The Next Generation. Drake portrayed Jeremy Brooks, a basketball player star who became physically disabled after he was shot by a classmate. When asked about his early acting career, Drake replied, My mother was very sick, we were very poor, like broke. The only money I had coming in was from Canadian TV. He appeared in a total of 100 episodes between 2001 and 2008. After becoming musically inspired by Jay-Z and Clips, Drake self-released his debut mixtape, Room for Improvement, in 2006. The mixtape featured Trey Songs and Loop Fiasco and included vast productions from Canadian producers Boy 1DA and Frank Dukes. When asked about the mixtape, Drake described the project as pretty straightforward, radio friendly, and there wasn't really much to it. Room for Improvement was released for sale only and sold roughly 6,000 copies, for which Drake received $304.04 in royalty payments. In 2007, he released his second mixtape, Comeback Season. Released from his recently founded October's very own label, it spawned the single Replacement Girl featuring Chay Songs. The song made Drake become the first unsigned Canadian rapper to have his music video on BET with Replacement Girl featured on their New Joint of the Day segment in April 2007. The song also saw Drake sample Man of the Year by Briscoe, Flo Rida and Lil Wayne, retaining Lil Wayne's verse and adjoined his own to the song's earlier half. This caused Jab Prince to gift Lil Wayne the song, which prompted the rapper to invite Drake to Houston to join his The Carter Third World Tour. Throughout the duration of the tour, Drake and Lil Wayne recorded multiple songs together, including Ransom, Forever, and a remix to Brand New. Despite the collaborations between the duo, Drake was yet to be signed by Young Money Entertainment. Drake released his first debut studio album, Thank Me Later, in 2010, which debuted at number one on the US Billboard 200. He achieved major critical success with Take Care, and commercial success with Nothing Was The Same, and his first commercial mixtape, if you're reading this, it's too late. The latter two were certified multi-platinum in the US. Drake's fourth album, Views, sat on top of the Billboard 200 for 13 non-consecutive weeks, becoming the first album by a male solo artist to do so in over a decade. Marketed as a playlist, Drake's second solo commercial mixtape, More Life, set multiple streaming records. 
In 2018, he released a double album, Scorpion, which produced three number one singles on the Billboard Hot 100. Drake's third commercial mixtape, A Dark Lane Demo, and takes a feature to Hot 100 number one lead single, Tusi Slide. And in 2021, he released the EP, Scary Hours 2, which included the number one single, What's Next. As an entrepreneur, Drake founded the OVO Sound Record label with longtime collaborator Forty in 2012. In 2013, Drake was announced as the new global ambassador of the Toronto Raptors, thereby joining the executive committee of the NBA franchise. In 2016, Drake announced his development with American entrepreneur Brent Hocking of the bourbon whiskey Virginia Black, eventually broke sale records in Canada, and he has also designed fashion, the most notable including a sub-label collaboration with Nike, alongside other business ventures. In 2018, Drake was reportedly responsible for 5%, which worked out to be 440 million Canadian dollars, of Toronto's $8.8 billion total annual tourism income. Among the world's best-selling music artists, with over 170 million records sold, Drake is ranked as the highest certified digital singles artist in the United States by the RIAA. He has won four Grammy Awards, six American Music Awards, a record of 27 Billboard Music Awards, two Brit Awards, a three Juno Awards. Drake also holds several Billboard chart records. He has the most top 10 hits on the Billboard Hot 100 and the most charted songs of any artist ever on the Billboard Hot 100. The most simultaneously charted Hot 100 songs in a single week, the most continuous time on a Hot 100, and the most Hot 100 debuts in a week. He also has the most number one singles on the R&B Hip Hop Airplay hot R&B hip hop songs, hot rap songs, and rhythmic airplay charts. Drake dated singer Rihanna on and off from 2009 to 2016. He has mentioned the relationship in every one of his studio albums, and when presenting Rihanna with the Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award in 2016, he said, she's a woman I've been in love with since I was 22 years old. On his former relationship with her, he said on a talk show to the shop, as life takes shape and teaches you your own lessons, I end up in a situation where I don't have the fairy tale. Like, oh, Drake started a family with Rihanna and this is like so perfect. It looks so good on paper. By the way, I did want that too at one time. Drake is a father to one son named Adonis, who was born on October 11th, 2017, to French painter and former model Sophie Bresso. Bresso's pregnancy was a subject of several rumours after featuring in a TMZ article in early 2017. After the nature of the pair's relationship was discussed in Pusha T's The Story of Adidon, Drake confirmed his fatherhood on the album Scorpion in 2018, citing a desire for his child's privacy. And that's it today guys, if you like this, then please make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.